Paul Ekman, Emotions Revealed, Recognizing Faces and Feelings to Improve Communication and Emotional Life. Our emotional displays have proven to be incredibly useful tools throughout human evolution, enabling our ancestors to survive and adapt to the world around them. Emotions Revealed by Paul Ekman takes us on a journey through the science behind emotions, demonstrating the enduring and powerful sway they hold on our lives today. From demonstrating the lasting impact of childhood trauma on our emotional reactions to using photography to decipher joy, sadness, and anger. This book will help readers to better understand and appreciate the complexity of human emotions and expressions. Emotions, Evolved Survival Tools Surprisingly, uncontrollable emotional reactions, such as crying, are actually essential evolutionary instruments, deep-rooted and passed down from our ancestors. In a 1993 study, Swedish psychologist Arne Oman demonstrated how even today, humans instinctively exhibit a heightened sensitivity to ancient threats such as spiders and snakes. Through a series of experiments, he showed that individuals conditioned with electric shocks reacted more fearfully to images of spiders than guns or flowers. This evidence strongly reflects the concept that our emotions, particularly those related to fear, are valuable remnants of the experiences and survival instincts of our ancestors. Embrace your emotions as essential tools for navigating the world, rather than feeling embarrassed or hindered by them. Unraveling Irrational Emotions Irrational emotions, often rooted in childhood experiences or ancestral heritage, can have a significant impact on daily life, causing powerful reactions to seemingly minor events. Understanding the origin of these emotions helps to navigate and manage them effectively. Our emotions can sometimes contradict logic in baffling ways. For instance, being afraid of falling despite being on a rooftop with high railings and a safety net. Such irrational emotions can be particularly potent when stemming from childhood traumas. Take the case of Tim, a client of the author. As a child, Tim's father would tease him in ways that might appear harmless to some, but were deeply hurtful to Tim. When learning to ride a bike, his father would laugh and share stories when Tim fell, and this triggered long-lasting sensitivity to teasing. As a result, even playful jesting in adulthood can provoke an irrational outburst of anger from Tim. Going beyond personal traumas, our emotional reactions can be traced back to our ancestors, making them even more volatile. Primal reactions surface unexpectedly, as demonstrated by a dean at the author's university. While remaining calm when dealing with rejected hard work proposals, he experiences extreme road rage when stuck in traffic. This reaction, surprisingly, has its roots in our ancestors. Although cars did not exist for our ancestors, movement and territorial freedom were crucial to their survival. Being restrained by an opponent was distressing and potentially fatal. Consequently, a modern-day traffic jam can activate these ancient emotional patterns, leading to irrational outbursts. Recognizing the relationship between our present emotional reactions and their origins in personal and ancestral experiences is crucial for navigating and managing these seemingly illogical feelings in our daily lives. By gaining insight into the source of our emotional triggers, we're better equipped to face them and take control over irrational responses. Decoding Emotional Expressions Recognizing emotions in others is crucial for effective communication, and the human face offers many reliable signs. Observing the position of the eyebrows, the widening of the lips, and the contraction of the cheeks helps decipher the subtle distinctions between sadness and happiness. By paying attention to these facial cues, you can improve your emotional intelligence and better understand the people you interact with. Imagine observing a photograph of Betty Shirley, a bereaved mother who lost her son to a pedophile ring in 1971. Her face expresses unmistakable sadness, but what specific cues reveal this emotion? The key lies in the intricate facial muscles and their various movements. One reliable sign of sadness is the raising of the inner eyebrow points, just above the nose. As this is an involuntary reaction, it may still be visible even if someone attempts to conceal their sorrow. 
A vertical crease between the raised inner eyebrows further amplifies this expression of profound grief. In Betty's photograph, her sadness is evident on her forehead through the upturned eyebrows and the pronounced vertical crease. Moving down to her lips, they're seen horizontally widened as part of a sad grimace. This widening often reaches a point where the mouth opens, leading to crying and wailing, an emotional release. However, in contemporary times, people are more likely to suppress these urges. Sadness also manifests itself in contracted cheeks, where they become slightly raised and more prominent on the face. This contraction can lift the corners of the lips into a smile-like appearance. Recognizing a sad smile involves differentiating it from a genuine smile by observing the cheeks. If the lips are being pulled up by contracted cheeks, the person is expressing sadness, not happiness. By learning to identify these distinct facial cues, you can enhance your emotional intelligence and better comprehend the emotions of others, leading to more empathetic and fruitful interactions. Decoding Angry Body Language when analyzing the expressions of anger, it's essential to focus on specific body language features. Maxine Kenny, a mother whose daughter was tragically taken from her, displayed a clear portrait of anger through her furrowed eyebrows, glaring eyes, clenched jaw, and most notably, her thin, drawn-back lips. Thinning of the lips is a consistent and reliable indicator of anger that cannot be controlled voluntarily, revealing emotions that may be hidden. However, not everyone with narrow lips is angry, it's crucial to recognize that anger results in lips becoming thinner than their usual state. It's important to consider cultural differences when interpreting signs of anger. For instance, in Papua New Guinea, the indigenous people signify uncontrolled anger by closing their mouths and tightening their lips, contrary to the norm in the Western world where emotions are unleashed via open mouths and shouting. When an angry Papua New Guinean reveals an open mouth, it implies a controlled form of anger and a willingness to communicate, as opposed to seeking a physical confrontation. This is a stark contrast to Western behavior, where controlled anger is often expressed by keeping the mouth closed and suppressing verbal insults. Understanding these cultural nuances is vital when detecting and interpreting the emotions that orate through body language. Decoding Fear and Surprise when observing people's emotional reactions in shocking situations, it can be hard to differentiate between fear and surprise. Both emotions may reflect similar facial expressions, such as raised eyelids. However, pay attention to the tension in the lower eyelids, this could reveal the true emotion. More tension signifies fear, while surprise would be more subtle. Imagine sitting on the balcony of your high-rise apartment, enjoying the view, when suddenly a falling body speeds past. Your emotional reaction is either fear or surprise, but how would an onlooker distinguish which one you feel? This happened in 1978 when a woman participating in a promotional stunt in New York lost her footing and fell, leaving her severely injured. Photographer Lou Liotta captured the incident, including the emotional reactions of two onlookers in a nearby balcony. Their eyes exhibited raised eyelids, a common sign of both fear and surprise, but their expressions were actually displays of surprise. Had they been experiencing fear, their eyelids would have been raised even more. Although subtle, the distinction between fear and surprise can be detected by observing specific signs. Tense lower eyelids causing eyes to appear large and frozen are a clear indication of fear. This was demonstrated in a 1973 photograph capturing roller derby skater Charlie O'Connell midair before an impending fall. O'Connell's terrified expression showcased tense lower eyelids and extremely raised upper eyelids, making his eyes bulge. People often attempt to conceal their emotions, particularly fear. However, the tension in the lower eyelids is involuntary, so observing this feature can reveal someone's true feelings. Keep an eye out for these subtle cues to decode the difference between fear and surprise the next time you witness a startling event. Unlocking the Secrets of Smiles Smiles are universally recognized expressions of joy, but they can also indicate other emotions such as amusement, relaxation, and gratitude. To truly understand the emotion behind a smile, we must listen to the voice. 
English psychologists Sophie Scott and Andrew Calder discovered that people found it easier to differentiate various shades of enjoyment by focusing on vocal cues. However, smiles are complex expressions, and not every smile is genuine. Some people smile out of politeness, without feeling any real joy. French neurologist Duchenne de Boulogne discovered that when people genuinely smile, the orbicularis oculi muscle around their eye also activates, a muscle that cannot be voluntarily contracted. So, if you want to discern a true smile from a false one, pay close attention to the eyes. The power of micro-expressions Discerning the truth from lies is crucial, especially in scenarios involving life and death situations. Micro-expressions, though hard to perceive, can reveal hidden intentions. By closely examining recorded interviews, experts can uncover these subtle cues, potentially preventing devastating outcomes. A psychiatrist's job can hang in the balance when trying to determine if a patient on the brink is being truthful about their mental state. In a study involving suicidal patients, the author closely observed doctors interviewing them, specifically focusing on those who requested a weekend leave from the clinic. One patient, Mary, claimed to have improved and received permission for a weekend pass. However, she later admitted to having lied and intended to take her life when outside of the clinic. Without her confession, the doctors would have unknowingly released her, leading to tragic consequences. Could such situations be averted? Micro-expressions, minute facial movements that can hint at lying, might offer a solution. These, however, are challenging to detect under normal circumstances. The author delved deeper into Mary's interview by scrutinizing the recorded footage. After dedicating 100 hours to analyzing just a 12-minute conversation, he discovered a revealing moment. Upon being asked about her future plans, Mary's face displayed a brief but discernible expression of anguish, lasting only one twelfth of a second, before a smile surfaced. This particular micro-expression appeared three times throughout the interview, signifying that her true intentions were veiled. Although micro-expressions might be challenging to observe with the naked eye, utilizing recorded footage could help specialists in detecting them. In turn, this method might serve to circumvent otherwise avoidable disastrous outcomes, as professionals adopt the role of emotional detectives and leverage the tools at their disposal. In Emotions Revealed, Paul Ekman highlights the significant influence of our ancestors' experiences on our emotional lives today. The book covers a broad range of topics, such as primal fears, lasting influences of childhood trauma, and differentiating between genuine and fake expressions. By understanding the intricate connections between our emotional lives and our evolutionary past, we can decode the emotions embedded within our facial expressions, body language, and even our voices. This awareness can greatly improve our ability to communicate, empathize, and connect with others while also enabling us to manage our own emotions more effectively.